Okay, hey, Etechians, good morning or good afternoon. So when you're gonna be working on the, the tri-lever challenge, you need to make your levers lightweight. You don't want big, heavy, gi giant ones. And what I'd recommend is the best material that you can use is gonna be cardboard or cardstock. And, um, you know, cardboard, it's just paper where they put these corrugations in that so makes it pretty strong. One problem is that when you go to make the lever, if you were just to cut this piece out and put a mass on there, it could very easily, well, I don't want to bend this one yet, but let's say this, is, it could very easily bend it, okay? So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a technique where you can make your lever a little bit stronger. So if you're gonna make your lever out of one of these, what I'd recommend is, let's see, can I zoom out here? I'll do this before your very eyes, okay? So I'm going to, now I think cardstock's gonna be a little clunkier to work with, but it'll be a lot stronger when you're done. So I'm going to, I got a nice straight edge right here. So I'm going to uh, about, it doesn't have to be too thick here. So this is gonna be my straight edge. Now white glue is an amazing thing when you're gluing wood or paper together. Now that's gonna be my support. I don't want this to be that thick. I want my lever to be about like that. So um, a lot of people don't think it's very good or very strong. It is very strong. It just doesn't dry instantly but it's wonderful on porous materials like wood or um, cardboard. So here's the very nice straight edge that came from the box pre-cut. And what I'd recommend you do, if you wanna get a nice strong lever is, is put a little bit of glue on there. Now when you work with glue, a lot of students put too much. They think, oh, I want it to be strong and they put tons of white glue. No, 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 you don't wanna do that. So I'm just barely putting some glue on here and this glue will dry fairly fast. When we stick it on there, it's gonna soak in. It'll be dry probably within 10 minutes. If you just put a little bit like this on, just enough, make sure I got the straight edge there. Okay, and you know how like with glue stick, it dries very quickly. Let's see, I like this side better. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this onto here. Now you're gonna to need to tape this down or set a book on it. Now you want to make sure this is nice and flat down here. And after a few minutes, this is gonna, when this dries, this is gonna be extremely strong. Let's see, do I have some tape here? Uh, let's see, do I have my masking tape? Uh, okay, I'm gonna use this clear tape, which is the worst thing to use when you're working on a wood project. Oh, I hate that stuff, hold on a second. Okay, you shouldn't hate stuff, but okay, let me put this. Oh, see now I'm, okay, right there. Tape this down. Okay, that's there. For years when I would teach model rocketry, students always wanted to go buy super glue to build the rockets. No, if you're, if you're putting cardboard together, paper, this is all you need. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside. This is just to keep it more or less straight. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside for the moment, let it dry for a few minutes. Okay, cardstock, same idea. Um, this is, you know what, you want, a, you want a nice straight edge to it. Didn't, when I cut this one initially, I didn't get it. So you want to have, this is going to be that, that, oh, actually, what am I thinking? This is a diff, slightly different technique for cardstock, duh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let's see, I want my lever to be roughly the same thickness as before. So I want my lever to be about this wide. So there'll be the top of the lever. And then I'm going to, you can cut it the same size or maybe a little thicker. So you got two strips here. So what I recommend now is, and if you're working on the corner of a desk, oh, that's gonna be even great, even better. Can you see right there? Put that on there, get a curve going here that's straight. Okay, and then I wanna fold this. Now see, that's gonna be, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get, this is gonna be glued on there. So now I wanna fold this one over this direction. So I'm gonna go like that. Try to keep this fairly straight. There, just wanna get a crease going on here. Okay, so you can see what's kind of starting to happen there. I want to get a little crease like that. Now this one's being quick and dirty and it's not going to be really pretty. Okay, so now this isn't the prettiest uh, job because I did it in a hurry here, but you're getting the idea by doing this, you're going to build this reinforcement into this fairly flimsy cardstock that's going to make this pretty strong. And again, uh, you could probably use glue stick if you've got a really good fresh one, but White glue works really well if you're doing it really thin like this. Okay, now you guys over there in the middle group, no, 
Don't sit there and think, hey, man, I'm going to make this thing strong. Okay, it's going to take four hours for this to dry. Then it's going to warp the material. Oh, well, look at there. And it's dripping everywhere. Then the tables. No. Oh, shoot. Look at this. Oh, come on. It's like I'm a, 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 a seventh grade kid making a rocket in science class. No, no, no. By the way, if you do get white glue on you, once you get it to this point, you just rub it real quick like this, and the friction just takes it off. Woo, it's gone. Okay, anyway, my point being very thin amounts of glue. Okay, get this pushed down. Now at this point you probably want to set a textbook here or if you have some masses to, just to keep it down for a couple of minutes. But um, see, okay, there's that, okay. No, come on. Let me come back to this one over here. And now it's still in the process of drying, but just in the short little time, you've got a really strong structure here that you can build with your, um, you can use to build your levers. Oh, yeah, look at this. And remember, you're using a 50 gram mass, so it's not like this has to hold a two liter bottle. That's gonna be more than enough force on there to, to work with this. So a couple of techniques for making real strong, lightweight levers. And then at that point, then you can you know poke a hole for wherever you want your fulcrum to be and stick it in the side of your box. You'll have to work out that. So anyway, thank you for your attention. Start making, figure out, I'd say start making your three basic lever blocks like this today right now and then you can be working out for tomorrow what you're doing over and out so long from here okay oh, come on oh, i didn't get glue in there shoot